All right, y'all, so this is part three. I'm going to try to wrap it up real quick, okay? So go back to part one and two to catch up, you guys, to hear everything, okay? Um, so, again, let's talk about the denial. So why? what is the denial about? So you're being asked to detach with love to clearly see the truth. Tell me about the denial. What is the truth that they're not recognizing or seeing? It's like their emotions is too much involved. Okay, so. Six of Wands in the upright position. <laughs> you can't see the truth. But it looks like here that this person wants to recognize you. Like they want to take it, you know, to the next step with you. Come on now, six of wands next to the uh, three, of, um, three of pentacles. Like they want to work with you, okay? But you can't see it because it's too much of an imbalance. Temperance is in the reverse. You may be lacking the patience and it's, it's things are not balanced here because again, they, your person here is being what? Pulled from all different types of directions in this karmic person is burdening them. And what I heard is like, this person is just now beginning to show their true colors as well. Look at that, the lovers comes out. Detach with love so you can see, clearly see the, uh, the truth. Some of you are dealing with a, a twin flame counterpart, right? Or a higher level soulmate here. Okay, the choice already has been made. Here with the Six of Swords coming out next to the Knight of Swords coming in a reverse position here. Um, yeah, and that's what it looks like. It's like, it's still some cycles that have to close out for the most part. Because again, it's like, you got to be able to move forward. And I feel like that's also a message for you. It's like, you have to still continue to go through this transition. There's karma waters ahead. Just keep moving forward. And that's what's going to, you know, this person here, either they're going to miss the opportunity or they're going to seize the opportunity in the moment to move forward. But right now, it's like, it feels like it's out of depth. Like, it feels like it's, um, everything is out of control. And you may even feel like you're being left behind. Like, you may even feel like this person is leaving you out in the cold or um, in some kind of way, right? So, you got to detach from it um, just so that you can be able to see that there is definitely some external factors here that are playing a role in the delays, okay? And on top of the fact that you guys still need to heal some childhood issues. All right. Tell me about the obsession. Tell me about the obsession. Where's the obsession coming from? Four of Swords in the reverse. But what I see here is it's more about someone has an, uh, it's like the fear and the anxiety. It's like an obsession of, you know, will my efforts pay off? Will this situation work? Seven of Pentacles coming out. You know, will I see my rewards <laughs> after all that I put into this? Will we be able to, you know, come together? Okay. It's an obsession here with the mind is what I'm hearing. You got to rest. All right. Because you definitely need to rest, all right? Because it's like, again, it's a lot of anxiety around the fact of will you be able to see this situation manifest into something deeper than what it is, okay? Um, and your person here, like I just heard, it's like this is a twin flame. So you both are um, obsessing, okay? You're obsessing over if this connection will actually do something and they're obsessing over whatever their third party situation is in, in the burdens that they have, right? That's in that third party situation. Okay, here with the four cups in a reverse position, it basically see it speaks about seizing the opportunities, becoming aware, awakening, right? Choosing your happiness. And that's what you're being um, told to do. Look, Go ahead and choose your happiness. Let go of whatever the regret is. You know, the stagnations are coming to an end. This is the light of the light at the end of the tunnel, but you're going to have to make a choice here. Okay. And a choice is going to be for you to stay motivated, for you to stay enthusiastic. 441 on my Tama. So definitely for my twin flames. Okay. And recover and heal. Let go of whatever the negativity is. Let go of whatever the stress may be. Let go of whatever the worry may be. Okay. This is definitely a past life love. All right.
Tell me about the leap of faith. Page of Wands. It's okay for you to take this new beginning, this new journey. All right? It's okay. Go ahead and be courageous about it and, and, and jump right in. All right? This is just the beginning. Yeah, everything is fine with the Ten of Swords coming out. I know, you know, you are experiencing deep pain because this is what it is. And it is some fears that's causing you to not take that leap. It's the heartbreak. Three of Swords. You're still holding on to that pain. Four of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. And the Queen of Cups. So somebody is still holding on to the pain of an ending, okay? That involved family. That involved uh, what I just heard for some marriage. Somebody may have mar was married and uh, was you know wanted the legacy, and it didn't happen. Someone may have been in a deep committed relationship, thinking that this person was going to be that person you be with for a long term, and it didn't happen. It ended up leading into divorce, very negative, un unexpected changes. It ended up leading to bankruptcy, money issues, things like that, not being supported after you gave them your heart. After you poured your love into this person. Tell me about the new love. So after this heartbreak, there's healing, of course, right? That three or four swords. After the pain, and after you release this pain, then guess what comes in for you? New love. Whether it's recommitment of the old connection or a new situation. But you got to release it, Okay. Four swords. You got to come out of the fear and the anxiety here. Come back. Come back. Come back to yourself, booze, is what I just heard. Six of cups. Heal those inner childhood wounds. This could, look, this, this is definitely probably somebody from the past, or you may be having memories of uh, love that you had with a previous person or the situation that I'm, you know, the one that you're thinking about, the person you're thinking about, Okay. This is going to be something here that is definitely um, very supportive. But you got to let go of the past and focus on the future, right? Ace of Wands comes out in the reverse position because you don't want to miss an opportunity. You could be hesitant about this because of the simple fact that you haven't had good news in love, boo. Your story has been, you know, traumatizing. But you're building yourself here to be the Nine of Pentacles, the Temperance card, and the Hangman is in the reverse. You feel me? The wait is over. You're at this point now as a Nine of Pentacles person it is self-sufficient, confident, or you're building yourself to be that, okay? Self-sufficient, confident, overcoming your challenges, working on your money, your independence, right? Your stability, your security, everything. This is what you are working on. And these are the rewards that you're going to get for your hard work. You're going to be able to co collect on your investments, baby. Okay? So now you need to seek your peace with the temperance. Because, again, your angelic guides are bringing balance to your situation. It's just going to require some patience. And I don't know where that card is at. Because divine timing is at play. Why? When divine timing kicks in, it's because ego is in the way. Okay? The discontentment, disinterest, stagnations. You know what I'm saying? Negative patterns. When it's time for you to come from off of that, out of that hangman position. All right? You can take yourself down from this tree. <laughs> In these ropes, it's an illusion. It's all about perspective. So change your perspective. Change how you see the situation. Use your intuition. Take care of yourself, booze. All right? So I love y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. Don't forget, if you ain't checked out part one and two, go back, double back. You're going to miss all of the good stuff. A lot of messages came out that can definitely help you here to heal these old childhood wounds. All right, y'all. Peace.